Welcome to Pub Indy. I'm Ann R. Bailey. And I'm Tammy Cavanaugh. Today is our very first episode where we will be introducing ourselves and talk about our writing. This has been a few months in the making as talking about who we are proved to be quite difficult. So grab a drink, sit back, and let's chat. Do you want to tell everyone who you are and what your projects are? I am currently working on a project. Um, it's been an idea in my head for a really long time. And I've attempted it a few times in the past. Uh, and as of uh, NaNoWriMo 2019, I very last minute decided that I would join in like two days before November. Uh, decided I would join in and uh, pick up from the point I had left off the last time I'd been writing it um, and try and get like the rest of the story that was in my head down. Uh, I've since been... Um, since that time I've been editing what I had written previously, basically a complete rewrite of what I had written previously. Um, and then have been editing everything else that I had written out during NaNo, moved some things into future books, uh, cause I realized timeline wise, a lot of this stuff didn't make any sense. Um, just reworking it and everything. And I finally started letting people read it back in, I think it was the end of October that I started letting mm-hmm. people. I was basically just like uh, on my, I'm on my third draft. So um, I just want some in- input on what I'm missing or what doesn't make any sense or what needs more work or what's not necessary and stuff like that. Um, and I've gotten some really good feedback. A lot of it um, thankfully is kind of reaffirming the things I was starting to think about it that needed fixing. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, everyone finishing that and going back and editing um, it. Yeah. How about you? What are you? Uh, what are you working on? So yeah, I'm just finishing up one of my latest books. I am. I have self-published um, over eight novels now, and I have a few more at the editors. Uh, and I'm dipping my toes in historical romance. I've primarily been writing historical fiction, but I needed something light and fun to write recently. And yeah, I've kind of hopped into that. Uh, So stay tuned, everyone. (laughs) Uh, I'm also like dabbling with thinking of like writing fantasy, but that might never get published. And it's just a project for myself. But yeah, I know that you have some publishing goals of yourself this year. Oh, yeah. Um, (laughs) The dream is to get this first book finished this year and actually out, uh, for people to read. Uh, again, it depends on how much work I need to do on the fourth draft. Um, and then getting it to an editor and then finding a cover designer as well on top of that. Um, I had hoped spring at some point, uh, I hadn't, wasn't married to the idea or anything like that, but you know, it's good to have, a uh, timeline goal in these things in order to aim for things. And I have had that in my head for most of this. And I have, you know, give or take a few months. Um, I have hit most of those goals. Uh, so I'm, 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 I'm comfortable with my first book taking my time on it Mm -hmm. to a certain extent. That's what happens really. Like, I think it'll be interesting for everyone out there listening to kind of go on a journey with Tammy (laughs) through her self publishing, (laughs) but no, it's been, It's been really great because I've been writing for so long and kind of like I have my system down pat to see you go through it and try and build your system and the way things work from the ground up is also interesting and kind of made me think, hey, there is no right way to do this. It's just getting your stuff out there, packaging it all up and tying it with a bow. Agreed. Agreed. I think the most important thing is um, make sure that you've done your best work that you can for that project, Mm -hmm. right? It uh, doesn't mean it's perfect. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. But make sure that you're not just, I don't know, um, publishing your your first draft or whatever. Make sure that you're, you've are you written it, you've reread it, you've changed things that needed changing instead of just going with what you came came to mind at the time. And you've sent it to a real editor um, who, yep. who can, <laughs> can edit and tell you the things that you need to know about about it instead of just assuming you know everything already and you know what you're doing and stuff. So exactly. I think there's like a difference between 
listening to people telling you how to write or, oh, you should definitely do this like really long outline and every sentence, every paragraph should be planned out. No, you don't need to do that. But yeah, then there's these overarching <laughs> goals like, yeah, get a proper editor. It'll make a world of difference. Get, um, either get really good with Photoshop or in design and then, or just hire someone. And there are some decently priced people out there. The internet is your friend for once in your life. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I do have one question for you, Anna. Um, mm-hmm. Why did you get into writing or uh, maybe better phrase? When did you get into writing? Yeah, I guess it's always been that childhood dream. Like I could do this. I always had like stories and running around in my head, but it wasn't really until I finished my undergrad that (laughs) it's kind of funny. I came across this other self-published author and I, I forget even who it was, but I was taking a look at them. They were a lot younger than me actually. And they had just published and were making a real living out of this. And I said, what's stopping me from trying to do the same or even just, it's a dream, right? To be a full-time author. And hopefully I can achieve that one day, but there's nothing really stopping me to try and self-publish and write. And I really just dove into this rabbit hole of research and writing and I cranked. And then I published my first book in September of 2015. And I never really stopped since then. Well, maybe I took a bit of a leave for two years, but that was for <laughs> personal medical reasons. <laughs> How about you? Uh, for me, I, I've, again, like since I was young, I've enjoyed writing. Um, I remember uh, doing those like for school in elementary little booklet things that they had you do for creative writing. Uh, But the first time I wrote something that was, you know, just because I wanted to was probably when I was 12. Uh, And then uh, and when I got into high school, it became more of a thing. I was part of uh, the Writers Guild at my high school. And uh, a lot of my friends were in it. And I mean, back then I was just writing in notebooks and maybe mm-hmm. would sit at the computer every now and then and write something up as well. Uh, and then uh, I took some creative writing courses in university uh, just um, to keep my uh, to learn more about writing. And I, I got to say, I got a lot out of that. I do recommend, you know, a structured class setting may not seem like the most um, inspirational place to be, but for the amount that I wrote, like I had to have a short story written every week and that is practice and um, that's really what it comes down to with like improving yourself is doing it right you have to do it and do it and do it if you want to see yourself get better at it um definitely yeah definitely and uh after that you know i i went into the workforce and (laughs) slowly got distracted got tired (laughs) yeah yeah a little bit and, um, I mean, I kept my hand in, in it to a certain extent, but I wasn't like, I, I carried around a, my laptop or my, a notebook and I'd stop off somewhere after work and maybe write a few lines of something, nothing serious, just to make sure that I wasn't getting too rusty on it. But my, my, my emotions, my intentions weren't really in it. My, like, I couldn't focus on it. But yeah, I'm happy that changed. I feel so much better now that I'm writing again. Yeah, that that makes sense. I think for me, the biggest thing I struggled with was building that discipline because I've always been someone who can never finish a project or will start something and never see it through to the end. So it was really like finding that time to sit down and write. And sometimes that was like at 10 p.m. till midnight. And now it's kind of shifted uh, to meet my current schedule. But yeah, it's really just that practice and being forced to write under a deadline is great. And I think that's what a lot of self-published authors maybe struggle with unless say you book in like I did this year because I'm insane, <laughs> book in a, a bunch of slots with your editors. And now you're like, well, I better have something for them or, or they'll kick me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. That's like working through those. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so did you want to talk about what we will discuss next week? Oh, next week, I believe we are, oh, or next week. Sorry, I misspoke. Next month, <laughs> right? That's true. Uh, next month, 
we are going to be discussing not, not exactly world building, but we're going to look at uh, placing your characters in an existent, real feeling world and what kind of things you might want to think about in order, uh, especially if you're um, writing fantasy or science fiction, but also if you're, in your case, you write history, you can't just write about characters and guess what life was like back then. You have to do research. Yeah. You have to look into it and see, you know, what foods did they eat? What kind of materials did they use for clothing? Um, what was entertainment like? You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, kind of building up the setting and making it feel real and not just like, here's two characters in an empty white room. <laughs> yes. With, with no, uh, cultural backgrounds or understanding of their own society. Like these are things you have to think about if you want your world to feel like a lived in place with history that's come before that may not have anything to do with the story you're necessarily entailing, but may help, um, form an understanding of the world in which your characters have been placed. Yeah. So hope, and that isn't to say we're experts, but this is just kind of our take on it. Yeah. So I hope you'll join us next week or month. Gosh, I keep goals, <laughs> goals that eventually this might become a weekly thing, <laughs> but stay tuned for next month where we'll be t discussing setting.